hello guys in this video we will talk about how we can load on-prem csv file to azure blob storage so let's jump into the video so make sure you have java installed uh, right now i am i have installed uh, microsoft jdk 17 and talent open studio 8 and i, I created a new sample project Let's click on finish and meanwhile it complete let's move to you know how to configure our, our Microsoft Azure portal so I have created a free account here okay so it will provide you some free credits so make sure you have that and then so yeah make sure you have that or you can create a new one and uh, go to home and then we have storage account okay here so once we have our storage account um, okay we have to create it first the storage account so let's click on here oops it's not working try again oh still not working try again okay make sure you click it properly else it will have some issues okay so once you have this one uh, let's try refresh and uh, okay we have our talent studio open and here is your canvas here is your properties uh, on right side you will have palette where you will have all your connections there okay and sorry guys and uh, let me hide my taskbar on sorry so let's now create your storage account okay go to your home storage accounts and here we'll have our free subscription okay and now we want to give a proper name the way you want you can give your name okay and once you are ready with your name I'm just fast forwarding this okay so basically you have to come up with proper names and uh, region whatever you want and selection and yeah so finally our name is like bit SA that is what bit storage account okay and then uh, advanced uh, then networking data protection encryption these are our default settings I, I am not going to touch that probably okay so make sure you do, don't uh, select or unselect just click on review at the end okay so I'm just fast following this one and once your review is done okay it will ask you so once you are at review it will ask you to create basically so it's this uh, it's unable now previously it was good. now you can click on create and your initialization process starts okay so uh, now you have to wait for a few seconds here and uh, once this initialization deployment is done it will give you a message and uh, redirect to the home page of your storage account okay so it's done yet you, it, it's here now so it's showing deployment is in progress okay for resource group so you have to create make sure you are creating your resource group under that resource group you are creating your storage account okay then we will create some jobs here and uh, yeah let me fast forward it for a while okay so it's it's very simple process so you can just type your name and blah 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 just click okay now come back to your Azure portal and see 
uh, your okay this is done so your deployment is completed your information and now you can go to your resource so just be aware of these all things that you have you can explore it go to your storage account under that you will find a containers and you have to create a new container so we'll create one container called Dave here okay let's create one advanced is nothing yeah successfully created Dave there is nothing right now so I will show you uh, you can upload one file from here itself from the portal okay so click on upload and go to your uh, file in your local folder and uh, upload it okay select whatever file you have so I have selected simple superstore and click on upload okay it's uploaded yeah so this is how you can do later you can uh, you know use uh, Azure storage uh, Explorer okay Azure Explorer I download the Azure Explorer and you can upload bulk files uh, and folders so that is not the scope of this video okay let's get back to our uh, storage account this is our storage account uh, then container okay and uh, container is having uh, Dave folder uh, sorry uh, container is Dave and that uh, file is there we will delete this file okay and uh, we want to clear this file because we want to upload a file from Talent Open Studio. So this is done. Okay. Now let's come back to our Talent Open Studio, and you can find a lot of uh, storage Azure storage components. So I will pick Azure Storage Connection first. Okay. So uh, Azure Storage Connection, uh, and we already have created the connection. If not, then we will create a new one so Azure storage connection uh, okay we'll create a new one we don't have so we'll select our uh, proper connection name and uh, properties of the connection so here is your storage name as I've shown there your storage name here okay and your key so this two is important so copy your storage name and key okay and uh, you can put your storage name and key here and click on test connection so once you have that uh, connection ready uh, connection is successful next select your container here click on next okay and if there are some filters or queues available it will uh, okay so you can select it finish okay there is an issue I think it's related to Java so what I will do is now uh, it's still failing so what I will do I will stop this and I will go back uh, to my Java I will uninstall uh, open JDK uh, sorry Microsoft JDK or it is open JDK 17 and install JDK 11 okay so we'll try this one so uninstall guys okay and install your JDK 11 so JDK 11 we have to install okay so I have done my installation JDK 11 okay so I will show you that uh, folder guys uh, let's go to my download so now I just downloaded JDK 11 and uh, uninstalled JDK 17 and uh, tested the uh, JDK 11 version it is properly installed okay and I restarted my talent job so uh, before you uninstall Java just close your talent open studio okay and after that you will uninstall 17 and install JDK 11. JDK 11 is compatible with Open uh, Talent Studio 8. Okay. Any like big data or Open Studio that that's work. Uh, uh, the version 8 is works with uh, JDK 11. Okay. So now we'll recreate it, this one and test our connection. Okay. So we'll have testing the connection and uh, it is working fine. Connection successful. Next, select. Okay okay done so uh, now if you go back to your canvas let's pull storage connection here okay and then we will configure the properties okay basic settings under basic settings we will go to property type in repository 
select your repository and select your metadata Azure storage connection and this is done save it okay so your Azure connection is ready now this connection is in the beginning of your job okay so it's like a first part once this is successfully done then only you are going to execute your rest of the things so next one is t file list uh, why because we want to iterate through the folder whatever files under that folder we want to upload onto azure storage so select the t file list okay connect on subject okay and uh, now first property basic property is directory so select your appropriate directory so for me it is fine csv uh, oh oops sorry so let's yeah select so now i have directory ready and uh, file type is files then include subdirectories in case you want to towers uh, case sensitive no right now okay and uh, file mask is there so we'll keep file mask uh, star.csv so it will be under double quotes so make sure you will have a double quotes within that you will have star.csv so just take it down click on plus and add your file mask so once you have added your star.csv file mask now your t file list make sure uh, you will always read from the directory with dot star.csv extension so now this is done okay and uh, i want to have azure storage uh, okay azure storage put so we want to take azure storage put here okay on azure storage put will uh, iterate so right click on the t file list and uh, select your iterate uh, iterate and here in your connection you will see I, I want to show it again so your connection will be your yeah so so you will have the connection okay and there you will have connection component there you will select azure storage once that is done on container you will have dev container that you have created uh, next one is your kind of uh, i don't want to go there let's we don't have anything there for now okay in your container we don't have any folder so let's come back uh, to our container and uh, on local no no it should not be that i think uh, we have to select t file list uh, file okay from our outline okay so from our outline here right so we will select uh, current file directory not a path so path is you can use uh, path when uh, it is useful because it's contain the file name and extension right now we don't need path we need a folder so from t file list we will pick a current di file directory so just uh, pull it here and now the azure storage directory whatever directory name you will write it will create it and under that you will have your file okay so let's create one august 2022 and we are done die on error if something goes wrong it will throw an error so our configuration is done everything is fine okay and now we want to make sure uh, we don't have anything here okay and uh, come back to our job uh, just uh, check it our job our connection all the components their properties settings are good uh, according whatever way we uh, according to our use case if everything is fine validated now time we can execute okay so if once is everything is fine uh, we'll uh, uh, just go through each of this component and check it properly and i think everything is fine i, I don't see any issue here uh, all the configurations are proper okay so uh, i think we are good i don't have any doubt now okay storage folder and everything is fine okay so let's execute it okay so just go to run now okay just run 
now just uh, clear and click on run it will take few seconds and once we are done we will have our new folder and the files into Azure data lake storage so it started okay it started one execution running and it is finished job is done let's check our Azure portal so here it's empty now click on refresh oh yeah boom we have our August 2022 and the file and their metadata okay so we have our sample superstore file here is some information and version okay so that's it guys for this video I hope you like this video please write down your comments in the comment sections uh, and the upcoming videos will be on Azure uh, data storage snowflake and talent open studio and always there will always a power bi videos thank you guys have a nice day bye